David, we're here in San Antonio. You're out here homeless. Tell me about it. Uh, homeless in San Antonio, and it was, uh, well, I, uh, I became homeless when I, uh, I lost my job and uh, got divorced. And, uh, now I'm on the street, though, and it, I mean, being on the street wasn't that bad in San Antonio, but now it's gotten worse when they opened the Haven for Hope. Uh, the Haven for Hope, they try to direct you over there, close down the uh, shelters and uh, play different places that fed you and all that in order to, uh, so they direct you to Haven for Hope and you go to Haven for Hope with the understanding that they're going to, you know, help you out, but you got to go through like different phases, so you're still in the same, you're out in the courtyard with a bunch of people, you know, using drugs or whatever and all that, I mean, you do the same thing under a bridge, you know, there's too much, I don't know how to describe it. So there's no other services now that that opened? No, no, they cut every, every other service out. You, you can't get any help, you know. But then yet, the Haven for Hope is supposed to be such a great place, but they can't even afford to feed the people there. Like at, at night, they had like, uh, for instance, they got Red Church on the bridge, and he feeds people. But yet, then Haven for Hope sends all their people there to eat, instead of feeding them at their, at their place. Well, there's no perfect shelter, and there's no perfect situation. Yeah, I know, but... Uh, uh, so, so, what? how do you survive out here? Uh, I work different, uh, stand on a corner, get different jobs, you know. People pick you up for day labor jobs and such. What's your future life? Uh, uh, not too good right now. Not too good. If you had three wishes, what would they be? For a job, a, a regular job, place to live. And, uh, my kids are doing all right. Thank you very much for talking to me.